Hello, my name is Rasheed Lewis from West Side Story Newspaper, and today I have here Veronica, the wife of Jay. We are today we are at Jay's restaurant located at 395 East East Street. And can you please say hi to the people, Veronica? Hi. All right. So my first question is, how did Jay's come to be? Goodness, that should be Jay sitting here telling you how it came to be. Um, actually, I came in after he had already started the business, but it's been going on a little, almost over, almost three years now. And uh, let me get him. <laughs> All right, so please bring Jay. <laughs> All right, definitely. Jay. As you can see, this is a family business right here. Is this for It's a family business, and it is just getting started off the ground. It's still a young business. And over there we have Jay coming to, to join the interview today. All right, Jay. So, my question to you is, how did Jay's come to be? Well, I actually, you know, I was looking in the penny saver, you know what I mean, and I seen that this building was available. Okay. And I, um, I called the gentleman, and um, he already had a restaurant set, but I don't know if he was closing down or whatever, but everybody said he never really was open. So um, I went ahead and, and bought it from him. Okay, definitely. And from that standpoint of the origins of Jay's, what were your long-term goals, and what are still your long-term goals for this restaurant? Well, my my long-term goals is to um, try to get the, the the next door opened up and and get some jobs for the people in the community. You know, because there's a lot of people hanging around downtown that you know doesn't have jobs, and um, and I hope I can. Um, get jobs for them and have them working because they, you know, they come up in here, you know, I mean, always asking us, you know, do you need any help or whatever. And then hopefully, you know, downtown San Bernardino will, will, will actually start opening up some, some businesses around here because, you know, it's a lot of transits and stuff going on, but, you know, but nobody goes hungry. <laughs> okay. So, how is business in these times? It, it's, it's real slow, but, you know, you have to have patience, and at the same time, you know, you still got to pay your rent, you know, so, you know, that's why we're open up today, and today is Sunday, you know what I mean, um, we can get three customers, that's three dollars that we we didn't have at first, so, mm -hmm. you know, we're just trying to piece it all together. Okay, definitely. So, what advice would you get to give to an ambitious person who wants to open up a restaurant? Well, um... The way the economy is right now, if you want to open it up, you know, you have to be real strong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, try to find somebody that'll, that'll, that'll work with you on a night job. Because <laughs> you're going to need that yeah. too to stay open. <laughs> but don't give up, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you, know, there, there, you know, there's people with, you know, with no legs, no arms or whatever. And if you, if you, if you, if you have everything, you, you might as well just go ahead and do something. Man, just just pray because you know if you don't walk with the man upstairs, you, you might as well don't even walk. You know. <laughs> Amen. You know. So, you know right. so. so how's how's your business involved in the community? Well, actually, you know, it's, it's very very involved. I mean, you know, more than half of everybody that come in here, they're short of something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you know, just like I said before, they they never they never leave hungry. You know. You know, just like I told him before, you know, I, I, I'll make them a half a bologna sandwich for 50 cents. You know what I mean? So, you know, as long as they don't have beer on their breath and I know they're really hungry, you know what I mean? It's all right with me. I'd rather um, fix it up and give it to them than throw it in the trash. Don't make any sense. Okay. All right. So, what do you offer on your menu? Um, um, I have a 99 cent menu. Right now, I have two uh, hot dogs for 99 cents. I have one chili jolt dog for 99 cents. I have a fish taco for 99 cents. I have a, um, a junior hamburger for 99 cents. I have fries for 99 cents. Um, I have Philly cheese steaks, um, pastrami, chili cheese pastrami fries, um, hot chicken strips. We call it Tone Tone Special because a gentleman came in here and he made his own meal one day and, and then it started selling. And his name is Tone Tone. And, um, oh, we have so much. You have to come in. Our big burger, you know what I mean? Uh, if, if you don't like it, you can have it for free. That's how, that's how much I know that you'll like it. 
So okay. that's just a little bit. I can't tell you everything because then you won't come in. You 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 make it yourself. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what would you recommend on your menu? Oh man, I I, I wouldn't have put it on my menu if I didn't want you to come and try it. You know what I mean? There's there's everything. You know what I mean? All, all the way down to the pork chops. The pork chops, you know, that the, the hamburger and all the prices are real cheap. You know, so, you know, you, you, you know come and get it. I, I have enough for everybody. <laughs> you know? All right. Are you offering jobs to youth right now? Yes. Um, we have a couple people um, working for us. They only work a certain amount of hours. They're, um, because they go to the, the school, the um, Valley College. Okay. They go to the Valley College, and um, that's why I was... Um, couldn't wait till the community starts getting a little better and things like that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I, our parking's real messed up around here. You know, people yeah. come and get our food, you know, and might might leave full, but, you know, might leave with a ticket on their window. You know what I mean? Because there's no parking parking for us. So when the city gets it together, it'll be better for everybody, okay. you know. Definitely. It just right. seems like I'm over here by myself, man, because, you know, they, you know the, all the businesses are closed and, you know, the, the you know the, the city. You know, they only come and clean up and cut the trees during Route 66. You know what I mean? The full of the people that's coming to look for, look at the cars like like it like it's a like that's how it is every day. But as soon as they leave, you know, it's like an empty alley around here. You know what I mean? But uh, um, put it in God's hands and hopefully they get it together. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna keep doing what I have to do. You know. Definitely. All right, this is Jay of Jay's Restaurant, and come join, it. come <laughs> come eat something at his restaurant. He'll guarantee that he'll keep you full. All right, until next time, I'm Rashid. Have a nice day.